for Ukraine, a new painting on my wall in which I love through pain, as they say, under the shadow of the refugee train. In sullen darkness when their tomb-like trails, among the blocks they search in vain, and search too far again after their daughter's sudden end. I'm going to take my inner fire, which knows no limits, and place it there, where it's still dark, smouldering and very, very cold for those with no power and only dirt to eat. A trusty dog stands to attention below the stars, shivering and wondering why and wondering where. A dog that one grows to love. Seeing that resplendent fire in the dog's eyes, they named him Ukraine, of their weeping land, and with them he shares his fierce yet gentle fire. Such is Ukraine. I'm going to find the river of tears down there in the shivering rubble-strewn dark, armed with my inner fire, and redirect that river's flow so nothing's wasted so it'll grow new crops, new grains in the fields to feed those now cold and starving to the bone. Determinedly, knowingly, dog Ukraine now nuzzles up against passing old man as a long-time friend. Amazing, baffling to behold, this man somehow walking on just one leg with no stick, labouring, struggling to carry the other blown-off leg in case sometime he might find out how to fix or glue it on again. Still on his way regardless, to play his part on the battlefield, in case he can make it in time to benefit somebody, somehow, on this troubled land. Dog Ukraine gives him new fire, new inspiration, body strength, Sadly, now fast to wane, but not his will, his inner fire. Such is Ukraine. In yet another dark, rubble-strewn corner, suffering a new and grievous pain, inconsolably weeps a Russian soldier, heartbroken at what he's been made to do, being comforted by a Ukrainian woman with blown-off arm. The husband insistently whispering in his ear, You're a good, good guy made of the real human stuff. This is not your fault, no matter where you fell. You're our friend till the waters come to an end. Such is Ukraine. I'm going to go out to the country's troublesome neighbour, grab that regime there in my hand like a bunch of nettles, hold it up for the world to see and deliberately drop it so it shatters into delicately flurrying clouds of spring blossom petals plus mysterious invisible something they call peace and another even more mysterious that the really smart call freedom. I'm going to go there soon someday to meet and greet that far-eyed, free-wandering dog, Ukraine, and all those who shared around his precious fire of the heart in the field for us all. Then, effusively embracing, we'll rejoice once more in the new and gentle spring dew, sun and rain, and wave our greetings to make much of the incoming joyful tourist train. Yes, such is Ukraine.